So hey you guys, I'm gonna be showing you today how I do my press on nails and how I get them to last actually up to three weeks. So I'm gonna go over a couple of things that I use and show you some of my press on nails. Now, for a warning girl, I've been doing my nails or having my nails done since I was 13, 15 years old. I'll be 41 this summer, you do the math girl. So I've been, I guess what I'm trying to say, the reason why I say that, I know how to live my life with nails. Some people don't, so oftentimes their nails may not last long because they're a little bit rough on their hands. Um, but my sister, shout out to Nikki out in East Texas. My sister taught me how to do my own nails um, using a dip powder and all that so setup. But this is so much easier. This would take me an hour. This takes me 15 to 20 minutes. So one of the first things I like to do is to prep the nail itself. Um, that means taking off any old nails, pushing back cuticles, um, and buffing the nails itself. Um, I also use nail glue. Now when you typically buy these kits, they come with their own glue, but I don't use those. I use the nail glue that you would use for nail tips. Um, and then you just need any type of nail file. I just have these different types that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. And then of course I have um, oil here for my cuticles and I'll show you guys all that. Kits, I typically use Kiss nails um, just because they're everywhere. Um, a neighbor gave me these. And what I like to do, you guys, is save nails. And I mix them. So today we're gonna be using this burgundy, but I'm gonna choose a couple of nails to mix in between, um, just to give it a different type of look, okay? So again, showing you guys some of the things I use. Um, nail files, any type of nail file. Um, girl, uh, cuticle pusher thingy. <laughs> nail glue and any type of nail clippers. Um, I have a nail clipper here for your acrylic nails, but this is just as fine, okay? This is just as good. And any type of oil for your cuticles themselves, okay? Um, make sure my area is clean. And what I do is literally I take an extra nail here and I go underneath. I know you really can't see this. Um, and just lift the nail up as so. guys so all of the nails are off so now I'm going to take a nail file and lightly buff my nails step that I do you really don't have to do this um, this is a dehydrator which basically dries out the nail beds to allow the nail um, the press on nail to adhere better but if you're buffering and all that you really don't need to do that next up I'm gonna go ahead and push back my cuticles this is very important okay so make sure you push those cuticles back not too far back but it needs to look neat So here are the nails I'm using. It is the Kiss Gel Fantasy in Burgundy, and I'm gonna be combining that with a silver glitter from a previous pack. Now you guys, I've already gone ahead and fitted these nails to my nail bed, but this is probably what takes the longest for me. Um, these are the press-on um, and gel that comes with the kit, but we ain't using it. So I'm just putting away the nails to save, and then I'm just gonna show you how I fit my nails. Me personally, 
um personally excuse me i like for the nails to fit a little bigger and then i cut it down to size so i whether i rather it be too big than too small so here i am fitting each nail to the nail bed So again, since the nail is a little bit bigger, I'm going to file it down some to ensure that it fits, okay? Using this glue by Kiss, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some uh, of the glue, nail glue to my nail bed itself and then place the nail on slowly ensuring that it is straight and I'm going to leave it on there for a couple of seconds. Okay, doing that for each nail, taking my time, making sure that the nail is straight and leaving it on for a few seconds or pressing it down I should say for a few seconds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my nails. Now I don't do this for every nail, but some of these nails are a little too long, honey. So I cut the nail down, go ahead and shape it up so that it looks cute. Okay, so they are all on. Last step is to add a little bit of olive oil to my cuticles and being very careful um, with washing my hands because you really don't want to get your hands wet for at least the first hour or so. And this is it, you guys. I can maintain these press-on nails for three weeks. If one pops off, all I do is buff that nail and put it back on, press it back on, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.